These are the top 10 most mind-blowing scratch projects. And number one is by Popular. It's a 3D online platformer. So if I just play the game, you can see that I can use the arrow keys to move around and space to jump. And I suck. And the purple things bounce. Can I turn my mouse? I don't think I can. No. Oh no, I can with the arrow keys. Okay. And the red ones, apparently they kill you. So, but yeah, this is overall a very impressive game. Like I have zero idea how someone can make this, but apparently somebody did. So good for them. Yo, can I cheese it? Come on. Oh, let's go. It is extremely laggy, but as we know, Scratch is not the best at rendering 3D things like this. Come on, please. Come on. What's this yellow thing do? Oh, okay. I think that was a checkpoint. Oh, bouncy. Oh, no. Okay, come on. Oh, definitely go check this out because this is amazing. Our next game is Getting Over It by Griff Patch. Now, as you can see, we start off with this little animation. I and mean, look at this. An actual physics-based Scratch game. If you don't use Scratch, I don't think you have any idea how difficult this is. I still don't to this day understand how somebody can create something so magnificent. Like, I'll give an example. Like, the way that if you're too heavy, like, your hammer falls off. Like, like look at that. How does somebody create something like that in this? My mind is astonished. Griff Patch has made many, many, many amazing projects just like this. Maybe even better. But I I think this is one of his most popular ones. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh j okay. Okay, there we go. Push us off. Oh, oh my god. Dude. And yet again, we still have our lord and savior, Griff Patch. He made actual geometry dash inside of Scratch. As you can see, we have the three beginning levels. I'm gonna play Stereo Madness. And just look at this. Real physics and collisions. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, this definitely isn't the absolute most impressive Scratch game. But I still want it to be an honorable mention. Because I remember playing this a couple years ago. And I was just absolutely blown away. And still to this day, it's still really impressive. Half the community can't even make something close to this. Oh, okay. Our fourth project is by Dad of Mr. Log, who made a 3D planet maker. So if we go into here, I'm just gonna close this. I'm just gonna figure it out by myself. As you can see, we orbit the Earth, and let's say I want to edit it. Like, look at this. I could just draw a couple of scribbles. I could basically just customize the entire world. Hardness, opacity, and now it just gets created. But the craziest part is look at that. Look at that lens dirt. The sun's reflection is absolutely crazy, and how it disappears through the world. How in the hell is this even made? I have no idea. Definitely one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And look at that. Paper Minecraft by Griff Patch. Griff Patch is definitely, in my opinion, the best scratcher I've ever seen. But as you can see, if I want to create a new game, I'll just I'll have a chest. I'll go in creative mode and done. Now it's going to create my completely random generated world. And here we go. Look at this. Can I open it? Oh, E. And I can. Oh, my. And look, I can just drag it all in here. This is absolutely crazy. Now, let's just say I walk over here. Oh, how do I? One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Can I place? How do I place? Oh, my God. I'm kind of curious to see if this is going to, like, blow up my computer. Okay, ready? Now. Oh, no. Oh my god, that went deep. No, the chicken! As you can see, there's killing mechanics in the game. Oh, and he just blew up. Enderman. Wait, let me get out of the caves real quick. And look at all of this random generation. There's even sheep. And let's just say, like, I just, you know, just go all the way down for a little bit of a second. There's gonna be random patches of dirt, just like in the real game. There's ores. There's so many different cool things in the game. Like, let's say if I go to, I think it's E. Look at all of this. We have building blocks, miscellaneous combat, decoration foods, materials, redstone. They have freaking redstone. How do you code this? I am absolutely mind blown so let me just go to this plate right click look at that oh my god this is crazy oh i just broke okay an actual water physics look at these water physics they literally run like it's the craziest thing i've ever seen in my entire life like oh my god that is just definitely one of the best games but just wait till the end because there's some pretty insane projects but from now on i'm going to be using a different website called turbo war which essentially just runs scratch projects a lot faster i think it's four times as fast so like for example if i do 3d funhouse as we can see it's by chrome underscore cat now if i play the game look at this an actual 3d rendered world i can open up a door and i still have absolutely zero idea how this could possibly be made i can jump and we can see this little red thing right here what's this what? To collect the coins? Oh, there's a ramp. Okay. Oh, an invisible platform. That's fun. There we go. I'll get you. But look at this. If any of you guys have ever made any Scratch game, Scratch is not compatible with any 3D things. Like, it's not meant to be 3D, but yet people have found out a way to make it 3D. It's absolutely ludicrous. I need to get back up on top. Oh, crap. Come on. Where's the last one? Is there not another one? Come on. Oh, did I just get it in time? No way. But I'm just gonna leave it at this. Like, look at this. This is absolutely crazy. And so our seventh game is Ray Traced Minecraft by 0261401. As you can see, they had a pretty good intro. And look at this. How do I look around? As you can see, when I stand still, it begins to render out more pixels. And here is the absolute craziest part. It's Ray Traced, meaning that there is realistic graphics. Like, just look at this photo right here. It's gotta give it a second. Look at how realistic this entire world looks. Everything is 
completely generated. Look at the water, look at the reflections, look at the shadows, look at the little illustrations through the leaves, like the little pixels. That's all coming from ray tracing. So let's say I want to get maybe a close detailed leaf. Well, I got you. I don't understand. Like, I thought I was pretty good at scratch, but looking at something like this, actual water waves, it makes me feel like I suck now. <laughs> you can literally see the waves in the water. How does somebody do this inside of scratch? How is this possible? And oh my god, I can place blocks. How do I place blocks? Am I doing it? Oh, I'm doing it. Okay. What if I placed on a torch and a sea lantern, emerald block? And let's just render that out real quick. Like, dude, I mean, look at that. I think this may be my favorite so far. No, it's definitely my favorite so far. Definitely the most impressive and mind-blowing thing I've ever seen. Like, look at how detailed it looked from back here. Our eighth project is 3D terrain generation by Awesome Llama. So if you click in here, we can rotate and look. As we can see, when we drag it, it's a bit more pixelated. But let's say I want to do some erosion. Let's change that by a bit. Capacity, yada yada. Texturing, other source terrain. Let's boom, bam. Resolution, higher. Scale, I'll go a bit lower. I'm just gonna see what this all looks like. And now it just generated what I said. And as you can see, I just generated the textures and look at how crazy this looks. Actual world generations 3D. And you can make it as customized as you want. Grass cover, all the 100. Noise, boom. Shadow, boom. Thunder, boom. Exposure, boom. Generate. And now it looks kind of wonky. I think that's because of the exposure. Hold on. Nope. Now it looks like a swamp. As you can see here, we have a bit of a bit of an island situation. And now we have a bit of a happier island. We can also zoom in and get a more detailed look. Like again, very, very impressive. And now our second last project is 3D platform by Heun. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I'll have to press enter and look at this. More 3D rendered engines. I'm not totally sure, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that they're all generated with the pen tool, which is absolutely insane. Okay, now I have to follow these guys. How do I get up here? What? Oh, wait, what? This is definitely a very impressive project, but maybe not the most interesting. But don't take away because the, you still need so much knowledge and willpower to make something like this. Oh, no. And our very last game is The Mass 3D by Awesome Llama again. So now as we can see, we're just E to close. And this is an actual 3D environment. Like, oh my God. Change resolution with buttons on the right. Alternate press. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. I'm going to put the resolution to like, I'll just go three because it's the most smooth. Decrease resolution. Oh, no. Go to three. Increase. Or, okay, that's how you did that. I'll go FPS. Okay. Oh, speed run timer. Speed run timer. What? I mean, sure. But look at this. An actual 3D environment with textures. Okay, we got to complete the game first. Continue the game. You won't be able to return. Okay. I'll just do a bit of a low res. Probably won't be much of a difference. Wait, am I in an elevator? They have animations. Oh my god. I don't like reading. So like, let's just go. Open door. Oh my god. That was- Oh my god. I'm like, actually- Wait. Locked. Okay. Locked. They're all locked. Okay. So we have to find a way to get out. What about you? Okay, your log. Okay, this one's open. You automated log. So we have to go to an electrical room to try and restore the power, I think? I don't know. How in the hell does this game work? How does somebody make this? Like, this is an actual 3D rendered engine with lighting. Look at this. The lighting up here reflects and it makes this part, like, lighter and then dimmer. Oh my god. This is crazy. I have no idea where I'm going. This is by far the most impressive game I have ever seen on Scratch. Hope you guys enjoyed and like and subscribe for more. See ya.